Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be testing the Army Painter Speed Paint Metallic set by painting these Adeptus Custodes models. Going to begin by priming all the models black. I'm using my airbrush with Army Painter Black Primer, but you can use the rattle can. I'm only using this because I've run out. Next, I'm going to do a Zenithal highlight using white airbrush paint. You can use the rattle can if you want to do exactly the same thing, or you can always dry brush to pick out the details and just leave the shadows darker ready for the speed paint. The first metallic I'm going to use is Talos Bronze, and I'm going to be painting up one of two units of the Sisters of Silence. And we're going to begin by coating all the armour in this Talos Bronze and with the Xenophil highlight, it should give us our shadows and our highlights and make the metallics really stand out. I wanted to do this video as a sort of review of the metallic paints to see how they would fare in an army. Because on one of the other videos, I painted all the speed paint caps just to show like easy to see on the shelf sort of thing. But obviously it doesn't show their true potential over an army and how it will look and whether they would stand out like normal metallics would if you were putting them on and then highlighting them to make them stand out or if they would just dry sort of without the metallic sort of look to them and just look like a normal coloured speed paint. The next metallic we're going to try is Enchanted Steel and I'm going to be using this across multiple models but basically to cover the tips of the weapons, the blades, the spearheads, the axes. I'm just going to go through the rest of the model and just block out the colours. So the hair I'm going to use Gravelord Grey then I'm going to use Hive Dweller Purple for like the tassels hanging down and the inside of the cloak. For the outside of the cloak, I'm going to be using Holy White Speed Paint just to sort of keep it in line with the box art. Then I'm going to use Pallid Bone on the purity seals and the sort of scrolls coming off the shoulder pads and that of the other models. Then we're going to use Crusader Skin just to cover the flesh parts of this model. The last speed paint we're going to use is Aztec Gold. And I've got to say, this is one of my favourite golds out the whole range. It's a very sort of ancient looking green gold. And this is the unit all finished up. I think the Talos bronze gives it sort of like an ancient sort of worn bronze look. But as you can see, the whole unit together, the metallic speed paints really work well. For my second unit of the Sisters of Silence, I'm going to be using brazen copper for the armour. And this is a very red metallic and I think it would look absolutely fantastic if you were doing like a soul blight army and you were painting vampires. This colour would be perfect for that. For the rest of this unit, I followed exactly the same steps as I did for the previous unit. The only difference is this unit had all guns. The other unit was all swords. So all I did was use grim black on the guns. Next, I'm going to be painting up a unit of Alaris Custodians. And I'm going to begin by using golden armour on all the armour parts. And these models are literally 80% armour. So with the speed paint, it works so well for speed painting this sort of unit. Literally, I think these three, I painted three of them. And it took me, I think, about an hour to get them from start to finish. And again, similar to the Sisters of Silence, I'm going to be using Aztec Gold leaving the blade to use one of the other metallic speed paints on. I also use the Aztec Gold to paint the handle of the sword at the back of the model. Next, we're going to use Enchanted Steel over the blades, like we have done on the other two units. To finish these models off now that all the metallics have been done, we're going to use Grim Black to paint the guns on the arms and also the belts and the straps around the waist of the model. Then we're going to use Pallid Bone to paint the tassels that hang down from the miniature. To finish these models off, we're just going to use Hive Dweller Purple now on the cloaks and the sort of leather tassel bits that hang down at the front and also the headdress. Once the gold is completely dry, we're going to take the metallic speed paint polished silver and go over all the tubes that are around the armour. And that's the unit finished. With the golden armour metallic speed paint, you can see the way it sits in the recesses, it pulls nicely where it should do and give you the definition between a highlight and a shadow. Next, we're going to move on to painting a unit of Custodian Wardens. We're going to be using the Speed Paint Metallic Glittering Loot, which is the brightest gold 
that's in with the speed paint metallic set. With this one, I can see quite a lot of uses across a variety of different armies. For instance, Seraphon, if all the jewellery that hangs around our necks, this gold will be perfect, along with the Aztec gold that we use for the weapons. And for the rest of this model, it's finished off exactly the same way we finished the other units. Hive Dweller Purple for the headdress and the cloak. Aztec gold for the weapon handle. Enchanted Steel for the blade. The only difference on these models is you can see the joints between the armour. So I just use Grim Black just to fill that in and also the grips on the weapon. Then we're going to use polished silver for the tubes on the front of the armour and also the vents that are on the back. And that's the unit complete. This gold is a lot brighter than the golden armour. But I can see a lot more uses for this gold. Like if you were painting the Iron Hills Dwarfs then the gold detailing that's on their armour this gold would be perfect for. The last unit I'm going to be painting up are Virtus Praetors. I think that's how you pronounce them. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sorry if I haven't pronounced it right. I've only got a couple more metallic speed paints to test out. So I'm going to use Horde Bronze to paint all the hover bikes, I'm going to call them. But basically cover all of it except the mechanical components. For all the mechanical parts, so like the exhaust and the engine, I'm going to be using Broadsword Silver. Which I've got to say is one of my favourite silvers I've used out of the whole of the metallic set. It's not too dark, it's not too light, and it dries really, really nice. And it's perfect for all this. So if you were building any sort of army, so Necrons, anything like that, this silver would be absolutely perfect to paint them. And it would be simple and quick to get an army together. With all the metallics finished on the bike, we're now going to begin working on the rider. So we're going to use hop like gold, which is the last gold out of the speed paint metallic set that I've got to try. And it's sort of like a mixture of the two. So it's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's quite a nice gold. And basically we're going to go through and do the shoulder guards, like the chest plate and the backs, and also the two bits on the side of the leg. Similar to what we've done on the other weapons, we're going to use Aztec gold to do the lance. And again, with the tip of the lance, we're going to use the enchanted steel. With all the metallics done, all that's left to do is finish off the rest of the model. So again, we're going to use Hive Dweller Purple to do the headdress, the leather areas on the arm and the legs, and the cloak that's sort of waving behind the bike. The last thing left to do is I use Grim Black on the boots, and also I used it on the cable that goes from the lance into the back of the rider. And with that done, that's the last unit complete. And I've got to say, the only speed paint I'm not 100% keen on is the hauled bronze. It might just be the area that I've used it over a large area. It might be suited to more of like a smaller section of the model. And that's all the metallics been used across all of the units. And I've got to say, there are some great colours there. The set's well worth picking up. If you like using speed paint, you'll love using these. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. It really means a lot to me. Until the next time, enjoy your painting.